There's breaking news out of France. Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, won re-election. He's the first French president to win re-election since Jacques Chirac in 2002. But it's a bigger story than just merely winning an election because Macron's election and his defeat of Marine Le Pen, the conservative challenger, is really good news primarily for two people. Number one, it's good news for the European Union because Le Pen made it very clear that she was gonna follow Britain's Brexit with a Frexit uh, with France leaving the European Union as well. Uh, but the other big winner, and there's no question about it, that the Biden administration and its very pro-globalist policies were supported by Macron, uh, who has really been an ally of Biden all along the way, particularly in the dealings with respect to the Ukraine war uh, when Russia attacked Ukraine. Uh, and so this was an important victory uh, for Macron, but it was also an important global issue uh, in terms of what happened. However, there's an interesting development even with the story. You know, Macron won re-election with 58% of the vote. It was actually 10% less than what he won with in 2017 against Marine Le Pen. In other words, almost 42% of the voters in France were voting against Macron and in favor of the National Rally Party of Marine Le Pen. Well, there are going to be parliamentary elections in June of this year, uh, and there's a very strong chance that the National Rally Party will win a substantial portion of the parliament in France, uh, possibly even being able to form a government uh, and to control the choice of the prime minister. So it's an important election, both for the French people and for the world as a whole.